Hi my friends, my name is Scott. Welcome back to another review. Today we are reviewing this bladeless fan. Now that summer has officially started heating up in our area, it's definitely time to get cooled off. We're hoping this fan can do the job. We'll find out. We'll see if this fan is good as a bladed fan. All right, well, I like the size of it. It's not too big, but it's not too small. Some of the small ones that we've reviewed in the past have trouble uh, cooling off a decent size area. So this is what it looks like. I love the design. Looks like you might have a, not sure if this is any port. No, it's just a, You have a display right there. I'm just looking for extra buttons or anything. I mean, you have a remote control. Okay. Well, this is very interesting. So you can use a remote or you can tap right here. And now it's on number one. I mean, you can definitely feel it. Number two. Number three. Oh, you can definitely feel the air. Number four. Five. Wow, that does feel good. Six. Seven. I do like it. It's The air is very cool. Eight. Wow, it's got a lot of fan modes. Now it says high. So H, L, low, and then back to one. Looks like if you double tap it, it turns on the oscillating. Uh, but of course, you can easily use the remote if you want to control it easier. Um, with the remote, you got pre-settings like, like night, which night mode would drop it down to low. Um, or high. Manually change it. Stop the oscillating. Start it. Uh, I will admit it actually does blow fairly cold. So I am impressed with that. I do think it is nice. I like how it turns so far. So oscillating is really nice. Overall, I am impressed. You can kind of get an idea. I mean, obviously, it's a little tough to see the effect of it, but. And you can definitely feel from far away, so that's also a plus as well.